welcome to the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. I'm Carol Long and Dennis Portis and I are out filming a lot of the events. And we just had some special guests to come in. Hi. If you'll just speak up a little bit, don't run away, King Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll just tell your name and what you're doing here with the festival, and speak up a little bit. So okay, folks can I can hear. do that. Okay. My name is Eva Thorne and I'm the 2013 West Virginia Strawberry Teen Queen. And this week we're just judging things, doing the parades and all the festivities. We're having a lot of fun. You're enjoying yourself? Yes, very right. much so. And this is our queen. My name is Hannah McComas. I'm the 2013 West Virginia Strawberry Festival queen. So like Eva said, we're just having a blast judging all the events and seeing all the things there are to see in Virginia. And you brought the sunshine today. We did. <laughs> Wonderful. And here we have our king. I'm Steve Butler. I'm the 2013 Strawberry Festival well, king this one here in French Creek. Just like these young ladies said, we're having a blast. And you've got someone back here, and who is this gentleman? Uh, I'm a Darius Young, and I'm the Junior Royalty King, and I'm going about the same thing that all there. Are you having a good time? Yep. Somebody told me that when you're on the float, you need to smile nice and big. Can you do that? Look at that smile. So we'll see, we'll see the smile on the float tomorrow? Okay, okay. Oh, here oh, yeah, we have our Junior Queen, and your name is, speak up. My name is Jasmine Gillum, and I'm the Junior Royalty Queen. And you're here having a good time? A marvelous time. It's been fantastic. Well, good. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Yes. And we've got our hostess. We're just going to introduce everybody today. Hostess Princess, tell your name, but speak up so they can hear. I'm Mariah Stalker, and I'm Kristen Costner. And what do you girls do this week? We escort the royalty around and just help out whenever we can. Run errands when they need something. Right. And they're sort of the good goodwill ambassadors for the festival, so thank you for all your hard work, girls. Thank you. Last but not least is a special lady here. This is our festival president, and this is Vicki Kelly. Tell us about what's going on. Well, we are, right now, we're touring with the queen and the king and the teen queen and the rest of them, and we're judging quilts and judging the art show and... Having a good time. We're just enjoying life. And you helped bring the sunshine today? I hope so, because we're looking for lots of sunshine. I, I looked at the weather map today, and it's looking like it's going to be rainy south of us. I hope it stays south. Uh, I hope it does, too. <laughs> Thank you a lot uh, for all your hard work. All right, thanks. We're in the upstairs of the gym for the quilt show, and I have a special lady that I want to introduce, and your name is? Shara Bailey. Shara ba Bailey. Mm -hmm. And tell us what you do, and speak up so that everybody can hear. I am the West Virginia Regional Coordinator for the Quilts of Valor Foundation, and what we do is we cover veterans, combat soldiers, with comforting, healing quilts of Valor. That is just awesome. I've read the article, and tell, tell folks approximately how many thousands of quilts have been done. This morning, 84,436 quilts of valor, not including the two that I just presented, have been presented to date. And who did you present them to today? I, re I presented them to a uh, Jason Dean and a Michael Barnes. And are they Upshur County residents, or they, did they travel in for this? I'm really not sure about that. Okay. And so you do present them to both men and women. Yes, it's all. Are, would it be listed as wounded warriors that you do this for, or just some? These are combat soldiers. They're combat soldiers, and many of them are wounded warriors that have had had some problems. I would say so. That our particular um, foundation is about combat soldiers, men and women, and veterans. That is, was in a ton of combat. Right. And and the the quilt represents what for you to give them. The quilt represents every American citizen's way of saying thank you for your awesome. service, your sacrifice, and your and our gratitude for all the time that you've spent away from your families and your loved ones. And it's a way for us to say that when you're wrapped in this quilt, that we would like for you to feel the love from individuals that you may not ever have the opportunity of having your arms wrapped around them. But it's just individuals. Um, wanting a way to say thank you. 
That is awesome. And how, how long have you been doing this? I was appointed in November through the foundation mm -hmm. to carry our state, and I'm the first regional yeah. coordinator that we've had. And so the Quilts of Valor have been uh, given out for how long now? It started in 2003 by our founder, Catherine Roberts. And you don't hear much about it. You really don't. That's and the reason why I'm here. Yes, this is awesome, and I'm glad that you're here at the Strawberry Festival. Um, I have a question. Oh, you have a question, Dennis? Yeah, uh, or a second ago, uh, maybe a minute ago, I heard that it's for combat only. It's for, you have to have been in time of combat, a combat soldier or veteran. What about those of us that served during the Vietnam era but never went to Vietnam? Well, that is handled through our foundation. So what you would have to do is that individual would have to go to our website. You'd request a quilt of valor. Our uh, foundation takes a look at that information and they see if you qualify. I am I get my orders down from the, the foundation itself and when those orders come to me then I know that everything has been taken care of and the quilts are ready for me to present. I really don't make that call. Okay. Let me ask you a question about how the funding comes about. Uh, tell, tell the folks where your funding begins and how you get these quilts. The funding begins right here. It's with me. It's to, we're totally nonprofit. We it is from regular American citizens that are willing willing to donate their money, their time, their effort into making these quilts. Mm -hmm. I, I, so you have a combination of all those factors. It doesn't mean that the person who donates the quilt is the one who helps with some of the funding, right? That's correct. Okay. So well, I just wanted to mention for everybody, we have a lady here, and she has some uh, quilt, I think. Uh, Teresa Key said she had made three That's for the Wounded Warrior. Uh, and I say Wounded Warrior because the combat, most of the combat soldiers have been wounded. So, so when your is, war, the Wounded Warrior program it's a is different, a, yes. It's a different program, it's I different. understand that. So this is Quilts of Valor for those who have been in combat. Exactly. And, uh, and where could they get more information if they want to know about it? If they would like to go to our website, it's www qovf.org or they can contact me personally at shara s h e r r a dot bailey b a i l e y at qovf.org thank you so much for what you do and and convey our thanks to those who are presenting the quilts because it is a very special thing to make our soldiers feel like that we do love them. So we're going to go ahead, Dennis, and look at some of these quilts. Are some of the quilts of valor on display? Yes, ma'am. If you look across the railing, all the okay. way down through there, the ones that we have not presented today will be found there. And I believe the ladies have more to the long arm right now. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is the judge's choice, first place. It's mixed techniques, wow. and this one is called The Lighthouse from Sue Woody Zofield. It's a beautiful quilt, is it not, Dennis? It is. With all kinds of, it's like a scene of all kinds of things, and of course here is The Lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. How many are there? Oh, there's all kinds of lighthouses, yeah. and they're all different. That's beautiful. A lot of folks will ask. A lot of folks will ask if they're for sale, and it will tell you this one is not, but it's on display. What I wish they put on there is where these people are from. Yeah. I would love to see where every year. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Bonnie Ruffle. Speak up. Say it again. Oh, Bonnie Ruffle. <laughs> and you do a lot of wall hangings. Yeah. And I know she does a lot of things. Have you done one of the quilts for Valor? I'm in the process in the of making process. one. I think that program is just phenomenal. My quilt's always got, already got, has a designate uh -huh. person. Well, that's awesome. And tell us your name. Look at the okay. camera. Mary Lee Welliver. And I'm sure you're going to see something of yours. Oh, Mary Lee has it. Mary Lee yeah. has a quilt right here. It's a first place. Yeah. She always has some really good quilts. This will be my last quilt. Last your last quilt. when you're not we're doing, moving. we're leaving. We're oh, moving. you're yeah, moving? moving well, away, yeah. can you not come back with your quilts? Well, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for all the years of oh, enjoyment that we have seen. These I love shows. doing I'm, a, I'm obsessed and I'm finding a space in our little apartment to put my sewing machines. <laughs> so you'll still be working. I think so. Have you done a quilt of valor? No, I haven't. Well, that's no, a project you can work that's on wherever work you're on. going because right. they do it all over the that's country. Right. You have to film her quilt. Yeah. Well, we're, we're just now getting working started. Down we're way. going down this way, so we'll go and look at Mary Lee's quilt. That's okay. the, it's right around the corner. We're going to go to this one next, Dennis. You'll scoot 
right around. Well, they're judging, I bet. This, no, no, we're filming. Three. Filming, oh, okay. Uh, this is the interlocking oh, okay. star. And if you look at this quilt, you'll see some beautiful stars all the way through it. Um, this one was quilted by the Stitching House, the owner's Tish Stemple. And it is not for sale. It won first place. And, and this is in large wall hangings. So there's all kinds of things that they do for competition. Let's move over to this one, Dennis. This is a first place. And again, this is a miniature wall hanging. And it's done, uh, made by Becky Williams quilted by Mary, uh, Mary Ellen Lemons. It is not for sale, but look at the exquisite quilting on this. Look at the backside, Dennis. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Even the backside is finished. Right. And I wear these gloves because if you come to the quilt show, you should have a glove on in case you want to, to touch the quilts because the oil on your fingers will stain the quilt. So we want to make sure we don't do that. And here's a medium-sized wall hanging. First place goes, it's, this is a silk ribbon Christmas rose by Leanna de Bickery. It is not for sale. It's quilted by the same lady. But isn't this pretty? This would be nice to have for Christmas to hang up. And I love to look at the backs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, oh, here's one for Halloween. This is another first place, The Three Witches. Isn't that cute? And this is done by, Lee, I think it's, it might be Lee, it's L-I-N-N-E-A-D-I-B-I-C-C-A-R-I. -I, -I. I don't want to mispronounce her name. It is not for sale. And we just talked to Mary Ellen Will yeah, you Mary go ahead. Willover. I'm going to move over here so I can read. <laughs> you could have gone front. That's, okay. that's fine. Um, this is a first place winner in the hand applique. That's a hard thing to do. This is called Backyard Friends by Mary Lee Williver. It is not for sale. And take a good look at this because she tells us she's going to be moving. and We may not get to see her quilts anymore. But this is beautiful. Come here a minute, Mary Lee. Tell us about when it says, it says uh, hand, hand applique. Uh -huh. What do you do in hand applique? Well, I must tell you in this one, they're just little, tiny, tiny pieces. Each one of those feathers is a separate, separate piece. And, and that's so all what these you call hand applique. Well, when applique, they're little pieces, and you turn them under and sew them down. They're, they're that is it. just yeah. exquisite. But I can that's see That's a lot of work. It sure is a lot is. of work, yes. And the is. birds just look like they'll fly right out, <laughs> don't they? Well, it was a, gorgeous. It, it was a lot of fun to do and very tedious, but uh, well, but I love applique. Yeah. So it was fun, yeah. Well, we really appreciate all the fun work that we've seen of yours, yeah, and you. I like to turn things over. Now, was this one uh, done hand stitched or hand quilted? Hand quilted. Hand you don't applique. find you don't find. Um, I'm, okay. I'm sorry, Dennis. That's fine. I'm going to try to get a hold of the back of this. I want you to look at the back of this. This shows what a quilter's skill is. And you, you can turn this over and have it on the bed this way. It won't be maybe as pretty, but with the quilting, it's, it's really nice. At least nice. the sunshine wouldn't fade out the color. Yes. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Mary Lee. Uh, thank you. This one is a baby's quilt, baby brown bear. That's cute. And this is a third place winner by Debbie... Um, Will Fong, and it is for sale for $65. That's a pretty quilt. Oh, look here. Turn around and let's get this one. This is called Kaleidoscope Dream by Rosemary Tomblin. It's a second place winner in the Mixed Techniques. Mixed Techniques is just a little bit of everything that goes into making the quilt. If you see the rosettes, if you see the quilting, if you see all the different designs, that's a Mixed Technique. It was quilted by Mary Ellen Lemons, and the owner is Robin Ball. It is not for sale, but it's a beautiful quilt. That'd be nice in a, a child's room. Oh, yes. Okay. 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 This one is called Christmas Gratitude. Bonnie Riffle, we just talked to her a few minutes ago on television. Uh, it's quilted by the Back Porch Quilters from uh, Jill Bentley's Stitchery, and this one is not for sale, but this is a long arm machine quilted. 
there's a, a huge machine that you can quilt quilts and make them. And if you look at all the little itty bitty pieces, this is not an easy thing to do when you have to cut these out and they have to be just exact. You get them on there. So this again is the long arm machine quilted. Beautiful quilt. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this one is pretty. It's called Yo-Yo. I think it's Yo-Yoville <laughs> by Camilla Hornback. All well, those circles kind of remind you of a yo-yo. Yes, it does. It's not for sale. She won third place. And if you look, you've got the yo-yo effect here in the middle. But then look at the side of this. That is gorgeous with all the different houses, and none of them look alike. They're, they're pretty much all different, some of the same colors, but a gorgeous quilt. And, and this one, Dennis, again, this one is that mixed techniques where you use all kinds of different things to make your quilt. There's all kinds of different things with the circles, with the squares, with all the pretty pictures. Mm -hmm. Now this one is, again, a long arm machine quilt. It's called Fly Away Home. And this one's Mary Ellen Lemons. It's not for sale. But look at all the, the different work. And again, you have to cut these out individually, folks. And you have to put all of it together so that it fits just exact. Let's look at the back of this one. This is done by the long arm machine quilt. It's not hand stitched, I don't think. But it's still very pretty on the back. This one's called Chantilly Lace. This is a uh, blue and yellow pinwheel. Shirley Warner did this. It was quilted by the commercial quilter and it is not for sale. This is a queen size quilt if you're looking for something larger. <laughs> and I love this. That does look like a pinwheel, doesn't it? It does. Okay. Now this one is a third place winner. It's called 50 Shades of Red. I love it. <laughs> Nancy Simmons did this. The back porch quilter did it, did the work on it. It's a long arm machine quilt, not for sale, but that, look at the colors. There are probably 50 shades of red in there. <laughs> oh, this one is gorgeous. This is the queen's choice. And this one is a double Irish chain by Gloria Riley, done by the back porch quilters. Owner Sherry Riley. This is gorgeous. If somebody is from Irish descent, what a pretty quilt that would be. And it's a queen size as well. Gorgeous. Let's look at this one. I like the colors in this, Dennis. This is called Warm Wishes by Margaret Neely, quilted by Mary Ellen Lemons. Third place, not for sale. This is long armed again, the long arm quilted by the machine. This is the third place in mixed techniques. It's done by Mariner's Compass, uh, made by Samantha Peck, quilted by the Stitching House. Third place, not for sale. Mixed techniques, again, you see, oh, these are beautiful. Every one different. I don't see any two alike, do you, Dennis? Uh, I don't think no. so. Oh, oh. They're similar, but they're all different. Beautiful. Here we have a quilt called Poppies. Ann Mickle did this, quilted by the Stitching House, and she won the King's Choice. The King's Choice must like Poppies and thinks that she did a really good job. Long arm machine quilted, very pretty. I don't know where they get all these wonderful ideas. Now, this is a little different. This is an embroidery quilt. If you look at all the birds, aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. This one was done by Terry Morrison, quilted by Katherine Emerson. It is not for sale, uh, but it is a beautiful quilted. Each piece um, is, is hand-stitched embroidery. So look at all the birds, all the state birds. Would, they got state's names on them. Right. Have we, can, have we found West Virginia yet? No, but it's the cardinal. Yes, right here. There we go. Okay. I just happened to notice it in the viewer here that uh, they had state names. Yes, around. I think that's really neat. Yeah. Okay. This one is state flowers. The other one was state birds. Yeah. This one is state flowers, and this is made by Carol Hayes, stitched by the Stitching House. Not for sale. It's a queen size. 
But again, this is embroidery. So you have, now let's see if we can find West Virginia. You know what I'm it is? I'm looking at it. Is that the road of, yeah, rhododendron? Yeah. I don't know that I've seen this color. Have you seen this color, rhododendron? Yeah. Usually it's a, a purplish color. Yeah, uh, they, there were really some of them growing a few years ago right. by the creek as you go east okay. on the old 151. Now we're into another long arm machine quilted one. This one's called Brights by Joyce Zirkel, quilted by the Quick Quilt Cuts. Um, I think it says at Jane Lou. It is not for sale, but a long arm quilting, the beautiful colors in that. Here we have stars. This is a second place winner. Betty Coughlin made this, she quilted it and she owns it. It's not for sale, but if you like stars, this is just very, very nice. This is embroidery work again. All of this is done by hand stitch. Wow. So that is really an important thing to note. Okay, here we have more poppies. <coughs> Excuse this, me. We don't know who made this one. The owner is Kay Wilson. It's on, it is, I don't know if this one would be judged. Sometimes uh, we have quilts on display only, especially if they're older quilts. But this is a pretty one. Now we're going back into some, um, some wall hangings. This is the medium sized wall hanging, one second place. West Virginia Star in the Mountains by Betty Puffenberger. Betty Puffenberger did uh, the quilting. She owns it and did the design. That's gorgeous. Here's a medium sized wall hanging. Winter Wonderland by Kay Wilson. She quilted it and she owns it. Not for sale. And down here, this one is Reversible Table Runner Charm Square Winter. Christine Helmet. We're not going to take it apart though and turn it around. But I think the other side, the other side has some of this pretty fabric on it. And you could use either one. Medium size wall hanging, Holly Lock Flower by Lena de Bockery, I think it is. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. But she did this. And again, this is some of the work where you put one layer on top of the other layer. Oh, yeah. And it has yeah. a, a real nice look. It looks like a flower garden. Yeah. It's called Hollylock Flower. All oh, these retired ladies. That's right. <laughs> okay, and now so we're into wonderful. the. This is a comforter. <laughs> and it's called Satin Comforter because it's all made out of satin material. Maxine White did this one. And this is the Teen's Choice. Uh, this is the quilt she liked best. It was also quilted by Maxine White. Owner is Kay Wilson. Okay, let's look at this one. This is a first place winner and I just have a feeling that uh, it's called My Playground by Caroline Peck. It's not for sale, but that's a good one for a boy, don't you think? Yeah. Young man. Go ahead. And then we have third place winning. Ah, I found it. West Virginia down there. Did you find West Virginia? Yeah, Maybe at the bottom. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> Three this of them. is Betty Angel number two by Betty Puffenbarger. She won third place for this. This is a miniature wall hanging. This one is the medium size wall hanging. It's called London Town Grandpa's Buzzsaw. Christine Helmick did this one. Then we have a second place winner. Isn't this pretty? Yes. This is Flying In by Barbara Campbell, quilted by Mary Ellen Lemons. Second place winner, and that's a miniature wall hanging. And here's a miscellaneous category, which I think this is really neat. It's a second place. It's called Pumpkins. Look at all the pumpkins. Kate Wilson did this one as well and quilted it. I like that. Okay. You want to put something up on your wall at fall time, that would be great. Sure. This is another comforter. It's called Patch Dungaree, and it's probably made out of old blue jeans. And uh, this one is done by Guy Nisley. Um, I'm assuming maybe a gentleman made this one? Yeah. Guy, name? G U Y N I S S L E Y, Nisley. It's a queen size comforter. And if you look, you see the pockets from the jeans. Yeah. yeah. That's really neat. We're going to I, go I think the, the name on this brings up a point. Uh-huh. 
you, if you're going to make a quilt or a comforter, you don't have to be female. Oh, absolutely. Male, male participation is a little light. My but yes, if yeah. you feel like doing it, make one. Um, I know a gentleman, uh, his last name is Ware, and he does quilts. He mm -hmm. just loves to do it. He's retired, and, and that's something he just likes to do. Sure. So he quilts and he makes stools, all kinds of things. So if you, you don't have to retire, you can retire from your job that you've had for 20 years, but you can go into another hobby. I've done a it. A hobby. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to look at this since we're over here. These are our quilts of valor. Remember we had someone talking about these? Every one of these quilts that you see has been lovingly made by some quilter, and it's going to go to one of our uh, military men or women who have been in combat. And this is a way of, of letting them have the warmth feeling that people love them no matter where they live all over the country. And I, we'll, we'll go down. We don't have names on them, but I do want to showcase them. Now this one is really pretty with the red, white, and blue. Sure. And they're just very exquisite. Here's another one. Now this one has a name on it. This is uh, in memory of Fred Kearns by Luann Bowers. This one was quilted by Teresa Key, who works with the festival. Oh, okay. And it's not for sale. Here's another quilt of Valor. Doesn't have a name on it, but it's really pretty. This is the patchwork. I think that's a, a, a very old design. Oh, does it say what it is down here? I don't know, but there's got to be a reason why that's open. Um, name of the quilt, I'm going to, let me pick it up here and put my hand underneath. This is Bright Squares, and um, it was sewn by L-I-N-N-E-R, quilted by Teresa Key again from Buckhannon. This will go to somebody. Here's another one. We have some really... We got one behind you too, we didn't even know. Oh, well, we'll <laughs> get those on the way back to the other side. Sure. These are still the quilts of power. I want to finish doing all of these. And this one has a name on it. This is Civil War Cot uh, Variation by Christine, quilted by Mary Ellen from Buckhannon. And these will go to somebody. Let's look at this one, Dennis. <clears throat> Can you get this? I yep. can't see it, it's um, upside down. Civil War uh, cot variation, looks like, uh, top sewn by Christine, age 72, Buckhannon, West Virginia, quilted by Stitching House of Buckhannon. Uh, date started 0113, date completed 0413. Isn't that awesome? We have people right here in Buckhannon that have quilts that have gone. Again, Quilts of Valor is a nationwide project started to help our returning soldiers. They are meant to comfort soldiers injured in body, mind, or spirit. To show them the American people appreciate their service, over 83,000 quilts have been given out nationwide. The Buchanan Quilters at Heart took this as a project in 2013. They made the tops and they were quilted by the Back Porch Quilters, Linda Stitching House, Quilters Garage, Mary Ellen Lemons, and Teresa Key, which we very much appreciate. The quilts hanging on the railing is part of our effort, and if you would like any more information, call Barbara Lane at 304-472-2649. And they take dollars as well. If you can't quilt, you could support it by some dollars. Oh, sure. We're going to turn around now and go this way. We have one more. Yeah, right here. Oh, and this is a first place winner, Dennis. Yeah. This is Cathedral Window, and Sue Ann Whitey did this one. First place. She owns it, she quilted it, and it is not for sale, but she won first place. That is a hard quilt to do. Look at all the different pieces. Right. All the different colors. It's awesome. This is called Rainy Day Labyrinth by Caroline, Caroline Peck. She quilted it and owns it. Uh, this one is for sale for $460. And if you see a quilt that you like here and it hasn't been sold, you could call uh, probably the extension 
agency right here in by Cannon and find out who owns it. If you think you might want to buy it, they'll get you in touch with it. All right. This is another long arm machine quilt. Sticks and stones. Kathy DeBar did this one. Uh, the stitching house did the quilting on it, and the owner is Garrett Matern. Garrett Matern happens to be Kathy's grandson. Oh. This is another long arm machine quilt by, it's called Jigsaw Puzzle, and it looks like a jigsaw puzzle. It does. I bet they had a ball putting it together. Catherine Emerson, and it's owned by Jerry Morrison. It's a queen size, not for sale. Here's another quilt, that I don't have a name on this one. This may be just one on display. I think it's, it's on the other side, because the other side is almost well, okay, identical to this. Did, yes, we did that. Let's go to the other side. Hello. This one is called Flying Geese. Mildred Withers did this. She quilted it. The owner is Bobby Withers. It is not for sale, but that sort of reminds you of a flight path, doesn't it? Yeah. This one is log, log cabin houses. More of a channel three. It's going to be on the air within the week. This, the Nisley family did this one. It was, uh, it, uh, it's owned by Guy Nisley. I think we saw another one of his quilts. This one's houses, log cabin houses. Uh huh. This is one of my favorite designs for a quilt. It's called the double wedding ring. And if you look at the rings, how they intertwine, and many times this particular designed quilt will be made for a couple that's getting married so that they'll have the double rings where they are united as one. This is done by Pearl McLean and owned by Bobby Withers. It is not for sale. <clears throat> Here's an antique quilt, and it has to be at least 35 years or older to have them here. Pearl McLean has this one. It's owned by Pam Smallridge. Not for sale, but this is really pretty. I would say very much so that this has been hand-stitched because when you have 35 years ago, they didn't have these long arm quilters. I think you're right. <coughs> Again, here's another one. And the design can be a little bit different, but you always see the circle and see how the circle just keeps going together and it intertwines. That's the double wedding ring. Pearl McLean family has Is this. Is it my imagination or like here, as it comes around here, it flattens out to about here and then curves down again. Yeah. That would be an awful hard thing to do. Oh, it is not an easy quilt. I have, my grandmother made a couple of these and I just love them. Because I think it has so much meaning when you see, you know, the, the rings and how they just intertwine all the way through the quilt. Sure. <clears throat> now on this side, <clears throat> these are quilt tops. Suzanne Myers has made a quilt top. She has not, it has, a quilt top is like this. It has not been finished on the back. Usually there's a piece that goes on the back with some special uh, inside um, warmth to it. You know, you can use blankets, you can use all kinds of different things to put on the inside of a quilt, and then you put a full back on it and quilt the whole thing together. So this one is third place. This is called Shoe Fly by Suzanne Myers. Did we give the name on this one over here, Dennis? Yeah, mm, uh, bow tie by Suzanne Myers. Okay. And oh, this is pretty. Now this is a really special quilt. One third place it is really special. It's called Grandma's Flower Garden, but it's a hand pieced. That means somebody put every one of these pieces together and, and then they hand quilted it wow. by hand. This is not done by a machine. And again, you, when you see a quilt like this, look at the back oh, yeah. of it. Uh huh. You can see, they're just beautiful quilters who do this. And the colors in this are just exquisite. If you look, you will see, again, every one of these, that little flower, yeah. is all sewn to this little flower, to this bigger flower. It's a hard job but people love to do it, and sometimes it takes them more than 
a few months to make one. Of course, this yes. Is snowball nine patch, and this is a, an older uh, pattern too. It's second place, uh, done by Ola Koger. Owner is Rosemary Simons. And again, if you see the nine patch, what will you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The quilt is different colors, but there's nine pieces together. You okay. See this all yeah. the way through? Sure. Snowball nine patch. So here's your snowball, and here's your nine patch. Right. This is Scraps on Parade by Beulah Carver and quilted by Mary Ellen Lemons. Scraps on Parade. Now, I would say the reason she did this is because if you look at this, you're going to see hundreds of different patterns. So these are probably uh, just scraps that she had from other things, and she cut them out and made this gorgeous quilt. Ingenious. And this is a long arm. Mixed Techniques by Sharon Wyatt, and it's quilted by Allison Goodrich. This is Mixed, mixed Techniques. This has buttons on it. It has a variety of things, and that, again, is what your mix, uh, Mixed Techniques does. <clears throat> Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yes. <clears throat> Here's another, <clears throat> excuse me, Large Wall Hanging Step by Step by Betty Puffenbarger. She won second place for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, isn't this beautiful? I didn't know this was Teresa Keys, but this is a large wall hanging. Memories of West Virginia. Isn't that gorgeous? I remember this from last year. Oh, it's got the black bear, Charleston Capitol. Um, is that here Southern, close? Um, it's on the other side of Rock Cable. It might, might be Jackson's Mill, I'm not okay, sure. Yeah. Cardinal. Um, there's the covered bridge, the coal miner. You've seen some of the barns with the mail pouch on it. Yeah, and, and I'm they not got sure. the mail pouch in this one. This might be one of the forts that we have. Okay. I think that's our state flower, is it not? And I don't oh, know no. what this is. <laughs> the log cabin, one of our churches. The, uh, uh, there's the, isn't that the, the gorge oh, bridge? Yeah. yeah, New River and, Gorge yeah. Bridge. And, this one, I'm not sure. Of course, we've got the train, and we got to close with the deer. Yes. Those are all memories of West Virginia. Teresa Key did this. It's a large wall hanging. It is not for sale, but it's a really nice wall hanging. This one, again, is a large wall hanging. Flower Garden Riot by Mary Ellen Lemons. She quilted it, and it's owned by uh, Barbara Campbell. That one is a riot. Look at all the colors in it. Wow. Beautiful flowers everywhere. Okay. Here's another uh, long armed machine quilt, Steelers football. And this one's not for sale, folks. I'm sorry. Christine Carpenter did this, quilted by the Stitching House. Christine owns it. And. Uh, if you like the Steelers, this would be nice on your bed, wouldn't it? <laughs> sure would. I'm up there. How are you folks? Here's a second place winner. This one's a hand applique. Again, hand applique are different pieces that are all put together. Kathy DeVar did this one. And the owner of this is, remember we talked about her grandson? This yeah. one's her granddaughter's. Oh. The owner of it is Gracie Matern. Okay. So she has one for her boy grandchild and one for her girl. This is really cute with all the little girls in it. Now in our baby's uh, quilt, we have a first place winner. It's called Just Ducky by Sharon Wyatt. She quilted it and she owns it. That is cute, Just Ducky. Looks like the duck's riding, doesn't it? Yeah. And the second place in baby quilt is called Sunrise. It's machine piece. <coughs> Stitching House did this and Mickle is the owner. I like the colors in that. Oh, yeah. And here's another one. This is, again, what do, what do we call this, Dennis? Nine, the nine, nine piece. patch. It's called patch. the nine patch. Okay, nine patch. Uh, Suzanne Myers did this. She quilted it and she owns it. Uh, so that's, again, a nice representation of your nine patch. And that's what a lot of people will start out doing because they're a little easier to, to start with as far as quilting. Okay. You'd think I quilted all my life and I never have made one. <laughs> I would love to and I might do that when I retire. <laughs>
This one's called Snowman. It's third place winner, Kate Wyatt's. Did, uh, she's the one who made it. It was stitched by the Stitching House. And here we see the snowmen. Those are cute. And this one is a first amateur place. Quilting. This is a, an amateur quilt. Yeah. This is probably somebody that just decided they wanted to enter one. Bonnie Riffle. We met her earlier. Remember yes. Bonnie? This is a first place winner. It's called Tiny Expressions. And she owns it. She made it. She quilted it. And she probably did a really good job. You can even wow, see the, the colors. The color on the back side that too, pretty? instead of white. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Yeah. I think, let's see. We still, did we get the ones on this side? I don't think we did. No. no. Okay, here's a first place winner called <coughs> Golden Sunflowers. Pauline Mauser made it, quilted it, and she, uh, uh, no, Margaret Posey owns it. Isn't that pretty? For yeah. somebody who has like these colors in their bedroom, that would be gorgeous. It's not for sale though, Dennis. No, dear. <laughs> First place winner in machine piece and hand quilted is the bow tie by Helen Harder. Quilted by China Snodgrass. Owner is Helen Harder. And it's not for sale, but do you see the bow ties? Do you ever wear a bow tie? Nope. Here you, you see all the bow ties? Yeah, well, I and see. that's not easy to do. No. Look here. This is machine pieced and hand quilted. So she's had to put all these pieces on there. Wow. And that's a big quilt. Look at this. That would be, what, a king size? It's a king oh. size quilt. Yeah. yeah. That took a long time to put all those bow ties on there. Sure did. And this one is the Carpenter Star, made by Tish Stemple in the Stitching House. They quilted it, Tish owns it, and uh, it's not for sale. <laughs> okay. And I think our last one is a first place winner in the long arm machine quilt. This is a keyboard kaleidoscope. And this is also the best of show. So we saved the, accordingly the best to last in the quilts. Right. Rose Mary Tomlin and Betty Coughlin made this. It's quilted by Mary Ellen Lemons, and Rose Mary Tomlin owns it. First place and best of show. That's really pretty. I like the colors. We have some other things that are done. This is a second place in the wearable accessories. This is called the Victorian Gypsy Vest by Bonnie Riffle. Bonnie does all kinds of things. So here's a vest that you could wear over your your blouse, it would be really pretty. Mm -hmm. Then we have one, this is a strawberry pillow. I'll hold it up like this. Uh -huh. uh, this one's by Nancy Simmons. She quilted it, she made it. And this is the extra competition. Here's a first place winner. And this is the purse, strawberry purse by Barbara Lane. She won first place with this. I like the strawberry purse. Sure. I may have to talk to her. That's, oh, it is for sale for $35. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> and here's an antique quilt, 35 years or older, not judged, but it's called the Red Rider. Mildred Withers made it. She quilted it, and it's owned by Pam Smallridge. These are priceless. No matter, you know, I have some in my, that my grandmother made that are about 100 years old. Wow. Baby Star Pink and Blue, Eleanor Smallridge, and it's owned by Pam Smallridge. So these are keepsakes that you pass down to your grandchildren or whatever. And what do we have? This Is this one of the Valor quilts? Yes, this is okay. a sampler Valor. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Oh, absolutely. This quilt was made from my request for two and a half unfinished quilt blocks. Mm -hmm. I, I get more requests in than I can ever fulfill by myself. So until I get the support here in West Virginia, I went online and I asked all quilters that I can find, I posted on my Facebook page, and said, please send me any orphan blocks, any 12 and a half unfinished blocks that you have or you can make for me. The only requirement is that I'd like for them to be red, white, and blue and or gold. That's beautiful. And send it to me, and I have gotten blocks it's from all over the United crosses. States, ladies supporting me. Uh -huh. yeah. So now so this is one, will it be given away yes, today? or well, Not today, but not yes, ma'am, it will find a recipient. Isn't home. that beautiful? And well, it was quilted It was quilted by a lady named Betty Bland in Mannington, okay. West Virginia. Just awesome. I, I think it's just wonderful what these quilters do here in Upshur County. And I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of these quilts. They're exquisite. 
takes lots of time and patience to do a quilt. And some of these quilts are going to be going to some very worthy people, men and women who've been in combat. Not all the ones hanging, but some of the ones that we saw on the rail have already been made, and someone will be the recipient of one of those quilts. So we hope you enjoyed the quilt show here at the uh, West Virginia Strawberry Festival Arts and Crafts here at Rockefeller Center. Quilts, the quilts were on display upstairs. We have arts and crafts that we're going to look at here in a little bit, and we also have an art show on the other side upstairs. So we thank you for joining us for the quilt show for the 72nd West Virginia Strawberry Festival.